today we're going to be proving the distance formula for a point to a given plane to be the distance is equal to the absolute value of ax0 plus by 0 plus cz0 plus d divided by a squared plus b squared plus c squared square rooted where point a is represented by x0 y0 z0 the given point and the given plane to be represented in its regular and normal form of ax plus py plus cz plus d is equal to zero for starters we can find the planes normal vector which is a comma b comma c this vector a comma b comma c will be perpendicular to any point on this plane furthermore we can find another point on this plane to be point b where point b will be, re will be represented by zero comma zero comma negative d over c where i found this point through simply substituting the zero into the two variables of x and y to get c z plus d is equal to zero where z, after rearranging the terms, will get negative d over c, hence point b. And then, b can connect point b to point a to form b a vector. Now, b a vector will be equal to the components of b subtracted from the components of a, which will be x0, zero, y0, zero, and z0 plus d over c as z0 minus parentheses negative d over c will result in z0 plus d over c hence the vector of ba being x0 y0 z0 plus d over c then we can define angle bac to be theta where the cosine of theta times ba vectors magnitude will result in the distance and we know this because triangle BAC is a right triangle. So if I connect the two points B and C to get segment BC, we can see that the hypotenuse's magnitude, which is BA vector's magnitude times the cosine of theta, defined at angle BAC, will result in the distance. Hence, from here on, we're going to be employing the usage of the dot product. As with the dot product, there is a multiple of b a vector's magnitude and the cosine theta value so this will be equal to by definition b a vector's magnitude times the normal vector's magnitude times the cosine of theta and i do this because i want to employ the cosine of theta into one of my definitions whether that be the dot product or the cross product in this case the dot product will suit me best in this proof hence we can substitute b a times cosine of theta to be d Rewriting this to be b a vector dot n vector is equal to the distance times the normal vector's magnitude. We have re rearranged this equation to get b a vector dot n vector divided by the normal vector's magnitude will, will give us the distance. And once again, we have found the, don the normal vector to be a comma b comma c. Hence, the normal vector's magnitude will be equal to the square root of the sum of the components squared, which will be a squared plus b squared plus c squared square rooted. And then b a vector dot n vector. Well, b a vector right here is equal to x0 comma y0 comma z0 plus d over c. And the normal vector the normal vector once again is a comma b comma c so we apply that into this equation from here the denominator remains unchanged as a squared plus b squared plus c squared square rooted and we dot product the two vectors together x0 times a of x0 or x0 times a plus b times y0 plus c times parentheses z0 plus d over c and we apply the term c into each of the terms within the parentheses to get ax0 plus by0 plus cz0 plus d and then we take the absolute value of this as remember the distance between a point to the plane cannot be a negative value hence proving the distance formula between a point and any given plane.